So silver price is headed down for another day. After the big wallop the other day, again, so many people don't even pay attention. It's comedy, but yet they consider themselves precious metals investors. Comedy. So many people commented that, uh, you know, oh, silver price dropped 24 cents. What's the big deal? Um, yeah, you should probably take a closer look at that. That's not actually what happened. But if you're in this game, it is a long-term game. There's no doubt about it. Stacking is a long-term game. If you're doing anything other than that, you're speculating or, you know, who knows what it is you call what you're doing. But taking losses on the front end is what stacking's all about, especially in this environment where you're paying 25, 30% premiums on stuff. People are actually buying eagles. Who in their right mind is buying silver eagles right now? But it's happening, right? Does anybody you know buy silver eagles right now? Not anybody that I know, but you know, as with anything in life, there's you know tricks and, and tips to the trade. So let me let you in on a big secret. SD Bullion is giving away a monster box filled with belly button lint and Werther's original. You don't get in on it, you're missing out. I mean, the only place that you're gonna get that kind of action is grandma's house. And you know, with Joe Biden's gas prices, you're not driving to grandma's house to get in on that. So definitely make Dr. Tyler Wall happy and go sign up at sdbullion.com for that uh, that gaw. Anyway, as you can see in front of you, I've laid out a wide assortment of different bars. Bars are probably gonna be the first things out the door if you are smart and taking profits at some point from your stack. Generic bars like these guys, the silver or sunshine mint bars. Sunshine mint, actually really nice bars. Good shine, security feature, although you gotta have Orphan Annie's decoder ring to use it, but I mean, it is what it is. This kind of thing, these are the kind of things you want in your stack because they're completely generic. You get rid of these on a heartbeat, you don't have to worry about it. Now, a little bit nicer stuff like, you know, these Monarch bars or, you know, the Royal Canadian Mint bars, still, I guess, generic, but, um, you know, it's a little harder to part with, you know, you memorized your serial number so that uh, when the criminals come, you can tell the cops, you know, what your serial number was on your 10 ounce bar. But uh, these kind of things, again, you want to think about these things in advance because, Again, the best laid plans go out the window with stacking. It just is what it is. That's what makes it so difficult. That's what makes it so difficult to stay the course. If you wonder why so many stackers keep, you know, stick to it, it's because when they buy in, which is usually during the hype, they end up become going underwater immediately and the smart ones stay the course. The ones that have weaker hands, they go sell to the coin shop or the bullion dealer so that, uh, you know, they can make profit, uh, they can give profit to them. Great, that's, uh, that's the way the world works. But this time frame, like I said, is interesting because you're gonna see the normal market behavior, which is premiums stay high, even if spots falling. So you're not gonna get a deal. You know, the prices aren't gonna adjust online overnight just because spot price fell. That's the sad part if you're a stacker, because again, the longer that you do it, the more interest you have in it, the more things that you wanna buy, things like this are gonna happen where people come in, you know, all scared of, you know, whatever the catalyst is, the debt ceiling or, anything and they want to buy great bullion dealers and coin shops are ready to meet that demand the problem is that when that demand dries up guess who ends up paying the price regular stackers because the premiums stay high the inventory will be limited bullion dealers definitely they uh restrict their supply so in times when you know they're ready to charge top dollar all of a sudden everything is in stock but as soon as spot price jumps it falls back down or you know demand dries up Oh, half the stuff that you want to buy is, is uh, you know, not in stock or, you know, there's no sales or this and that. It's a tough life being a stacker. And so those are the things you want to think about before you really, you know, decide, you know, this is how you're going to protect your value or things like that. It's all great. It's all great. But if you don't understand, you know, those caveats on the front end, you're definitely going to be the sucker. You know, a sucker is born every day with this kind of stuff. Definitely the bullion dealers and the coin shops can uh, can take advantage a lot of you have been letting me know that coin shops are also you know starting to get into the game as far as you know charging pretty good premiums on you know what they're selling the hard part is again when drops like this in spot a lot of people are gonna come back in selling their stuff so if you decide to sell plan on getting spot even if it's nicer stuff which you know is a terrible thing to have but it is what it is these are the things these are the lessons and these are the times that you're going to learn them in you know when there's no interest in stacking you're really not learning anything because spot might spot price might creep up premiums might fall a little bit so you feel good about everything you're doing but in times like this when everybody comes in and ruins it it just 
it, it's just it is what it is you know so many people have been doing you know stacking metals for decades and decades and they're way in the green so of course when you're way in the green it feels like you know this was the right thing to do yes i can see that but the thing is that again most people don't have those time frames and they don't have the strength to, to see it through they will sell at the first sign of panic or during a prolonged downturn it's human nature you know and so these are the things right now pay strict attention really look at what's going on really look at the hype and the main thing that i cannot stress enough don't miss out on that belly button monster box